guys, um, my name is Anne, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a wobble box. So the supplies we'll need for today's activity is some popsicle sticks or anything just to make the structure of your wiggle bot, some scissors, some tape, a hobby motor, a battery, and any other extra supplies that you want. We'll first start with making the body of the wiggle bot. So today I have some popsicle sticks for the body. Also good things to use are like cardboard or construction paper, whatever you guys want. All right, so we have the body done. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some legs. So what I'm gonna do is cut these popsicle sticks in half. Now we have four legs, so we're gonna go ahead and tape those on. So now we have legs on our little wobble bot. Now we can start to make the circuit. So what we're first going to want to do is attach the battery to the motor just to make sure it works first. So we're going to go ahead and connect both sides of the wires to either side of the battery. We can hear it going so that we know that both the battery and the motor work, so that's good. Now we can go ahead and we want to put a weight on this so that when this spins, it makes the whole thing wobble. So what we can do for that is we'll get a piece of tape. We'll just go ahead and start folding it up. All right, so it's all nice and folded. We have a little block here. And we're gonna go ahead and tape this on like that. So that when this spins, this weight is gonna go around. So we're gonna add a little piece of tape right there. And then put the motor in and tape it onto it. So now we have that. So when we add the battery back on, you can see this spinning. All right. Now we can go ahead and tape this down to the edge. Now we want to make sure that we tape it so that this thing can spin all the way around without hitting anything. So we have that on there. Now we can go ahead and attach one side of the battery. Make sure that it's the wire part, the metal part of the wire is fully touching the metal part of one side of the battery. We can go ahead and tape the battery down now. Go ahead and we can tape this down too. Now I'm going to hold this 
with one hand so that it doesn't start spinning till I'm ready. But first, take that right there so that will stay. Hold this and tape it down. So now we have a wobble bot. So now what you can do is go ahead and decorate your wobble bot, which I will do. So now that you guys know how to make a basic wobble bot, I want to know if you guys can make it look cooler, move farther. Mine just kind of moves in circles. Um, maybe make it look like a robot or any type of animal. Uh, have fun with it.